Hey guys, we're going to be making air dry clay. If you looked at the title page, you saw the materials needed. You need flour, water, and salt. A bowl, spoon, and a measuring cup. This is a quick video because the last one I made seemed to have gotten lost somewhere. So this is my second take on air dry clay. Start with the flour. You got a half a cup of flour. I'm using a fourth of a cup. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. I'm using a fourth of a cup, so I need two of these to make a half cup. I need a fourth cup of salt. There you go. Mix these two together. And you need a fourth cup of water. Pour it in, and while you're pouring, stir. Make sure you get the edges. And mix until everything is together. Once it starts to stick together pretty well, you're going to start kneading it. Kneading means you're just basically picking it up with your hands and creating a Play-Doh-like texture. For this, you'll need to get a little bit more flour. Sprinkle it on top and make sure your hands are floured too. You should be able to pick it up and start mixing it together, guys. This air dry clay can be used to create many things. And a good thing about it is if you have the slightest clue, don't have the slightest clue on what you wanted to make, you can put it in the refrigerator and come back another day and make something. But remember to label it so that no one mistakes it for biscuit dough or something. Once you get a Play-Doh-like texture and it's not sticking to your fingers, this one's just a little bit sticky. I'm gonna add a little bit more flour. Okay. Once it becomes smooth to touch and it doesn't stick to your hands anymore, you're ready to create whatever you would like. The possibilities are endless. When you create your project, I would let it dry, air dry for about one, two days. Two days would be best. And once it's dry, you can paint it and have a new little toy to play with. So thank you for watching. And when I come back, I probably have something created and I'll do a painting later. Bye.